hello guys I am back so I'm going to show you how to start a, a Royal Enfield engine during the cold seasons in winter and this is a Royal Enfield Thunderbolt 350 cc engine that I'm having and before doing anything I'll show you what you have to do um, the key remains in the off position this this particular switch has to be kept in the off position only and then I'll show you uh, where the fuel gauge is here the fuel gauge is actually and we will have to turn this on like this then we will still not uh, pull this key on the on position before kick starting the before kick starting this uh, you know kick starter we will uh, we will kick start it for roughly 5 to 6 times just to engage the engine oil to get it circulated in the engine by giving it some you know hard kicks like this and we are done now I will turn this switch on I will make sure that I turn this uh, switch on as well and let us see if this works or not I'll give it a very hard swing that I'm going to show you there it is As you can see the sound is still not so good, it's quirky, the sound is very quirky, it is not so smooth, it sounds as if the engine is going to, uh, you know, uh, choke in a moment or so, but it will not, because what happens is, when we uh, forcefully start the engine by giving it a force kick, the amount of pressure built in a kick is much more higher than the starting the than the start than the starting motor that it has a starting motor withdraws some energy from the battery but the energy as compared to the kick starter is very very less which is why it is always recommended that we should always kick start a modus motorcycle in the beginning of the day it had the kick start actually has some gear issues which are very very powerful just to give it a uh, you know a full swing inside the engine which cannot be accomplished with the with the uh, starting motor it has so thank you so much guys